I'm at the farmer's market in, at Agway in December of 2018, and I'm here with Jamie, uh, who is the owner of the Cooking Bucket Sugar House. What's your last name, Jamie? Durgan. Durgan. And Jamie, this is the first time you're here at the Agway Farmer's first Market, time at right? Agway this, this season, yep. Nice. So, so what do you... What is the uh, Cooking Bucket Sugar House, Jamie? What's well, that? Uh, so, as Tom said, my name's Jamie, um, and I, uh, we make maple syrup, pure maple syrup here in Chelmsford at Cooking Bucket Sugar House, yeah. which is our uh, sugar house um, on Locust Road. Um, which is off of Byam Road, right? Right, near right. The, right near Byam Road. And, and near the Historical the Society, society yep. there at Byam Homestead. Mm -hmm. Nice. So we hang about, well, we did about 350 buckets last season. Wow! Um, and uh, all around the town, um, uh, my neighbors and some of the historical properties here in Chelmsford, they've all been good enough to give me permission to tap their trees. Nice! Um, and we bring the sap back to the sugar house and we, we make, make the syrup uh, right there. So. How does that work, Jamie? You, you collect the... Um the syrup from the trees, right, in the buckets. That's where your name came from, I guess. Exactly. And then exactly. what do you do? You cook it up, that's why it's called cooking buckets? Yeah, exactly. How does it work, Jamie? Well, so, Cooking Bucket Sugar House, that name uh, was uh, given to us by my niece, uh, Olivia. Oh. Uh, when she was driving through the neighborhood and saw my, my buckets hanging from the trees, um, she uh, recognized them and, and said that her uncle was cooking his buckets, so. Uh, cooking his buckets. <laughs> myself that's a perfect name for, yes. for my business so yes. that's what we yes. do we and we go around we collect the sap uh, from the trees um, bring it back to the sugar house and we boil it so um, for it takes about 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of maple syrup wow um, oh my god so yes it's a it's a large volume and wow um, <laughs> And we do it in March uh, yeah. because that's when the sap flows in the trees. Uh, in order for the sap to run in the trees, you need freezing temperatures at night and warm temperatures during the day. Oh wow! So in this oh. part of New England, um, we have that those the right temperatures in in March, and it's you know typically yeah. end of Fe last week of February through the first week of April. That's yeah. that's maple season uh, yep. in, in here in here in Massachusetts. I see. Great. Uh, so so you get when, that. That's when we do it. So and you it's boil all one big blast. It's, you so make you all your product for the year. Oh, I see. Uh, I didn't know in, that. In so then you uh, collect it all. You have a pickup truck or something. So you collect it all. Bring it back to your. You have a sugar house on Locust Road there, right? Yep. That you built or had built, and then you cook it up somehow. What kind? How do you cook it? In a big in oven a, of some sort? Stove? A, evaporator. Evaporator. Yeah, two, nice. two by five stainless steel evaporator. Oh. Um, and it was uh, made by. A craftsman up in Maine uh, named uh, Bill Mason, uh, and he uh, makes the evaporator, the entire thing from scratch, um, in his shop up in Maine. Um, TIG welted, all stainless steel, um, and it's the, it's just the same kind of evaporator that you'd find in a large commercial sugar house. It's just small. <laughs> it's just two by five instead of. Uh, wow. You know, larger commercial size, but it's really, it, it operates the same way um, as a large commercial evaporator. It's very efficient yes. um, and makes fantastic syrup. And you're there when it's cooking up. Somebody's there all the time, right? Oh, yeah. We're, all we're, time. When we're making syrup. When you're yeah. making syrup. And do you live near there, where, near your sugar house? Yep. Same property? Yep. Great. So you can keep an eye on everything. So, so you're there when it's cooking up. Then you, you make it, and then you, somebody has to bottle it up. We, we, do all the, we, we make it, we finish it, and filter it, and bottle it all at the show. Filter it too, and then bottle it. Well, let me show the people what we, you have here, okay, yes, Jamie? Show them the you can result. explain. So here's um, his sign. Uh, he's here at the South Chelmsford Agway Farmer's Market here in December. And here's uh, his price list one quart, $26, one pint, $16, for example. And uh, he, here's a lot of his bottles at different sizes. Some of these smaller ones look like a maple leaf, it looks like, or something. Mm -hmm. So uh, they'd be great for gifts or for your pancakes or waffles or whatever, right, Jamie? And uh, oh, you also have pure maple candy, $4 for that. Oh, and here's some pictures of your collecting and um, doing everything at the Sugar House. I mean, my son, he was. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so. There's, and here's Jamie with a customer at the uh, at the sugar house. So.